Hello, my name's Karen Guido. I'm the Group HE Quality Manager. Um, I'd just like to say welcome and thank you for joining our HE information event. Um, what would the format for today will be that I'll talk you through why study higher education, why you should choose the Chichester College Group for your study, and the support that we have available for our students at the Chichester College Group. My colleague Leanne will then talk about our HE courses and a little bit about student finance. As we go through the webinar, if you have any questions, just post them in the Q&A and uh, we've got colleagues on hand to answer those questions for you. And then if there are any um, subjects that are coming up time and time again, we'll have a question and answer session at the end of the presentation. So firstly, I'd like to talk you through, we've got a short video for you about the HE provision at the Chichester College Group. So just to reintroduce myself again, I'm Karen Guido. I'm the Group HE Quality Manager at, um, for Higher Education and my colleague Leanne will be joining me on this webinar and she's our Higher Education Progression Coach. So first of all, I'd just like to explain some of the benefits of studying for a high, higher education qualification. Um, but first of all, um, in terms of the Chichester College Group, we've got five campuses across West Sussex. Um, one here in Chichester, we have Worthing College, Brinsbury College, which is our agricultural college um, near Pulborough. We have Crawley College and our most recent um, member of the group is Haywards Heath College. We offer higher education um, courses at four of our colleges, Worthing, Chichester, Brinsbury and Crawley. So now I'd like to go on and just explain some of the benefits for you of study, studying for a higher education qualification. So first of all, um, you increase your knowledge. It may just be that you are working in a professional capacity or an industry and you want to increase your knowledge um, in that area. Um, secondly, you can increase your earning potential. Government research would suggest that over the lifetime of your employment, you can have an earnings potential of £100,000 above, over and above somebody who only has level three qualifications. You can increase your employment prospects. So um, employees that have a degree qualification are less likely to suffer employment and you will have um, likely to have greater employability and skills development. Um, you can develop essential life skills. So at the Chichester College Group, not only do we um, provide subject specific courses, we also offer um, other skills development courses, employability skills and entrepreneurial skills. You can gain an internationally recognised qualification. So a higher national diploma, a foundation degree or a BA, BSc honours. And last but no, by no means least, we want you to enjoy your study. Um, we have a group of higher education lecturers who are very passionate and enthusiastic about their courses um, and they want you to enjoy your subject and gain 100% from your time with us. So now I'd like to go on and just talk about why choose to study at the Chichester College Group. Firstly, um, generally our costs are lower than local higher education um, institutions within our area. So typically at the moment, a higher national qualification is 6,500, whereas at some other higher education institutions, the cost is 9,250. We can offer you smaller class sizes. Uh, most of our classes are fewer than 20 students. 
This means that we can offer you a more coaching and facilitative approach and you should be able to um, work at much more at your own pace and you will have more um, opportunities to interact with your lecturers. Um, we have more class contact hours than individual support. Um, so you can expect, expect to be with us for sort of two to three days a week. Um, we've also made a commitment during this COVID time that we will, where possible, um, have face-to-face -face contact with our students and then we'll offer support through um, a blended learning approach. And obviously we do have a facility to go online should that be necessary. All of our lecturers have um, vast industry experience. They've worked in the industry um, in the area that they will be teaching with you. They've therefore got excellent employer links. And as a group, we also have very good employer links, not only with local employers, but we also work with national employers as well. And um, our courses are um, vocationally focused. So they're actually focused on you gaining careers within the industry um, that you're studying in. And we will make sure that we um, have opportunities for employers to come in and speak to you and talk to you about some of the careers that they can offer. We also offer development days where you can practice um, things like assessment centers and um, doing sort of interview skills. Uh, so just now I'd like to go on and talk to you about some of the support that we can offer you as a group. So firstly, you will be assigned a student tutor or HE coach, as we call them, and they will be your main point of contact for pastoral support. So any problems that you're experiencing, if you're struggling with your study, you can talk to your HE coach and they can signpost you not only to the support that we have available within the college, but also um, to external support as well. You've also, um, we have course leaders for all of our courses who can help you with any problems that you have in terms of your academic study. And we have um, various um, support services actually within the college that we can signpost you to. So in terms of um, some of the sort of wraparound support that we have available, we have a graduate attributes program uh, this is a wraparound program I mentioned earlier about employability and interview skills. This is a program which is focused on, um, on um, employability skills, your study skills. So if you're new to higher education or you've been out of education for some time, we can actually offer you support with things like referencing, um, assignment writing, uh, how you do uh, academic reading, being uh, critically evaluation. So there's somebody there to support you with your academic study skills. And that also includes, as I mentioned earlier, employability and entrepreneurial skills through our development days that all our higher education programs um, book into. And we will have employers there to support those days and help you with your career. So moving on from there, we also have um, a Progression Plus team they're based at all of our campuses and they can offer you careers advice. They can offer you financial advice. And if you find that you are sort of struggling financially or you're worried about finances, um, you can talk to your HE coach or Progression Plus and we can signpost you to our student support team who um, may be able to provide you with some support there. Uh, we've got a wide range of resources. So we have a well-stocked library at all of our campuses who will have um, either hard copies or electronic copies of your main reading lists. Uh, we have a lot of online support in terms of things like academic journals that you can access or um, industry specific publications that should help you with your assignments or your assessment work or any research you need to do. We also have excellent physical resources. So just to give you a couple of examples, um, we've got a um, modern construction um, centre here at the Chichester campus. We have our brand new STEM centre at Crawley, which will be opening soon. And we have up to date um, industry specific resources in things like creative media so that you can use um, up to date industry um, resources and and have an idea of, of, of some of those uh, areas. 
Um, we have a knowledgeable and supportive learning support team. So if you do have any specific learning um, requirements or difficulties, so for example, dyslexia, uh, we can speak to you about some of the support that we may be able to give you. And they can also offer you individualized learning support. So if there is a need there, we can actually work with you one to one in terms of um, your academic study. So the next thing um, and my final point that I'd like to make is just to talk you through some of the types of qualifications that we offer at the Chichester College Group. So we have three different um, offers in higher education. We have um, higher nationals. So we have HNC, HND. HNC is a full time one year course or we do offer some part time courses over two years. So that's the equivalent of the first year of a degree. Uh, in most of our courses, we have two year courses that allow you to then progress on to the higher national diploma, which is the second year of a degree course. So it's two thirds of a full degree. And we also have um, foundation degrees, which are similar to the HNDs, but they're two, they're, um, two thirds of a degree and they're vocationally um, focused. So with the foundation degrees, we work with our local higher education providers who validate um, the degrees and will confer the award. And it is an area that we do develop. So as we look at the skills needs within our local area, we do look to develop further foundation degrees and those are all about meeting the local skills needs. Um, and so we offer different foundation degrees at Crawley to meet their needs there. And we can offer um, different subjects relevant to, for instance, Brinsbury or um, Chichester. Then finally, we offer a top up degree. So if you study an HND or a foundation degree with us, you can then go on in some areas to study for a full BA or BSE honours degree, normally over the course of a year, and you will then gain a full um, undergraduate degree. And again, they're vocationally focused and employer led. And all of our courses, our HNs, our foundation degrees and our um, degree top ups are allow you to apply what you're learning in the classroom uh, to a real life working environment. So I hope that's given you a flavour of HE and the HE provision at the Chichester College Group. So I, we're now going to show you a short video from Pearson. Um, Pearson are the um, awarding body for all of our higher nationals. Some of the subjects that you'll see on there we don't offer at the college, but we just like to give you a flavour of what it's like and what students are saying about studying for a higher national. My name is Constanza and I work at Pearson. We asked our students from all over the world, why you take a BTEC Higher National course? I wake up every day knowing that I'm going to college to do what I love. The BTEC HNC has helped me in ways that I don't think even I imagined it would help. The course is really practical and offers opportunities for valuable work experience as well as a recognised qualification. By the time I finish this course, I'll have the knowledge, practice and enthusiasm to get into the real professional world. One, you become the best graphic designer that you can be and two, you become a critical thinker. It's an industry recognised qualification. I'm surrounded by people that love what they're doing. I honestly believe that opting for aging in fashion and textile was one of my best choices ever made. Enjoy learning to take higher national because I'm pushed in a way that I've never been before. It's a vocational skill which includes both practical skill and academic skill. As the course teaches you to work to professional industry standards, you can see why employers love HNC and HND qualifications too. Since I've came here, I have got a job and I don't think I've been able to do it without this amazing opportunity. I've chosen BTEC because the opportunities are endless. H&D, real skills, real experience, real qualifications.
Hello, my name's Leanne. I'm the college's higher education progression coach, and I'm going to talk you through now what we offer at each of our campuses. Um, we now have over 30 different university level courses across four of our campuses. Brinsbury is the highest performing land based college in the South for achievement in agriculture, horticulture, and animal care, and we now have four amazing courses available there. If you see yourself working as a zookeeper or in construction, our animal, our animal management course could be for you. Last year, the students went to Botswana to view game and learn about conservation. If you want a career in plant science, garden design, or even crop production, our horticulture and food production courses may interest you. We're really proud to be launching three unique foundation degrees this year at our Brinsbury campus. And these have been developed by our expert staff in partnership with the University of Chichester. Our sustainable food production course also includes a 10 week work-based project at a food production business. And our brand new veterinary nursing course not only consists of academic study, but there's also a work-based um, sorry, work-based learning project you take part in to help you develop the skills, behaviours and the resilience needed within this sector. In response to feedback from the furniture manufacturing industry, we've also developed a bespoke course to ensure you have the essential skills needed in furniture production. We have a wide range of courses at our Chichester campus and if business management is of interest to you, we offer both full and part-time courses that will help you gain the degree. There's currently a national skills shortage within the STEM industries and people with level four and level five qualifications are in really high demand. We have courses that will help you develop your careers in engineering, computing, and even construction. Our new disruptive technology course is a unique qualification that explores future technologies and brings together different aspects of science, technology, engineering and maths. This course meets the needs that have been identified by employers in this region and is designed to prepare you for a career in this ever-changing technology sector. If you see yourself working in film, radio or TV, we have some amazing courses that you may be interested in. We have courses right up to degree level and you'll have an opportunity to work with real clients to develop your knowledge and skills. This year, students have worked with companies that include the BBC, Channel 5 and The Telegraph. Our intense acting course is designed to prepare you for a career in performing arts and you may have an opportunity to perform at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. If you want to study dance right up to degree level, we offer a foundation degree that, that offers an internationally recognised dance teaching qualification and it has 100% progression rates. You're also taught by uniquely qualified university and college staff and as part of the course you also gain your ISTD dance education diploma. If you want to travel the world, then our hospitality, travel and tourism courses may help you fulfil your dreams. You'll gain essential work experience as part of these courses and you'll also study subjects including global events, marketing and leadership. Our Crawley campus has some of the best facilities in this region for studying IT, creative media and engineering and they're going to be getting even better. Our new multi-million pound STEM centre is due to open next year and will host modern teaching and interactive spaces that, will do, that are designed to train you in advanced technologies. As you can see, we offer a range of engineering, computing, media and construction courses that will benefit from excellent links to many of the largest employers in the South East and beyond. If you work in early years, then our foundation degree and BA honours will not only extend your knowledge and professional practice, but they'll allow you to progress within this sector as both leaders and managers. Some of our students have also gone into positions within social work or now even teach. Some have also extended their knowledge and progressed onto a master's in social work. 
Both of these amazing courses have 100% success rates. Our business course will allow you to develop a really broad range of skills required within a variety of industries. And you'll be taught by fantastic industry professionals. And the subjects will also include accounting, management, marketing, and law. Our Worthing campus has an extremely successful sports program and they work in partnership with the University of Chichester to offer a fantastic foundation degree in sport, health and exercise science. And in addition to your foundation degree, you'll gain a personal trainer qualification and you'll complete an industry placement that is linked to our Academy of Sports program. You'll also have the option to progress to a full degree in your third year in a specialist area of your choosing. Full details of all of our courses are available on our websites and on UCAS. So, how will you fund your studies? Our tuition fees do offer fantastic value for money and student loans are available to cover the cost of these. You can also apply for a maintenance loan of up to £9,203 to help with your living costs. The amount awarded is dependent on your household income and where you live. The good thing about these loans are you don't have to pay them back until you've completed your studies and you're currently earning at least £26,568 a year. The repayments are also very affordable. So, for example, if you were earning £600 a week, your repayment would only be £8 a week. If you're planning to pay the fees yourself, we do offer flexible payment plans and you can spread the payments across seven payments during the academic year. Some employers also support their staff to upskill and retrain and may offer you sponsorship. You may also be entitled to receive a grant or allowances from Student Finance England if you have dependents, a learning difficulty, health problems or a disability. There are also lots and lots of scholarships and bursaries that may be able to help you too. We also offer a learning support grant of up to £500 a year that will help towards costs of equipment, books, travel needed for your particular course. For full details of all the funding available, please see Student Finance England websites, our websites, or you can contact us directly for any advice or support you may need. I'm now going to hand you over to my colleague Amy, who will explain how you make an application via the UCAS. Amy, I think you're muted. Hi guys, my name's Amy and I work at the college's career service known as Progression Plus, who can provide um, advice and guidance around your next steps. In terms of UCAS, we offer a variety of support throughout the entirety of the process, right from registering an account through to personal statement reviews. If you would like to book an appointment or have any queries, please contact Progression Plus at chichester.ac.uk and we can help to provide some further support to you. I'll now hand you back to my colleague, Karen, for further questions. Hello, it's Karen. Um, I hope that you found the information that we've provided informative and you've got a flavour of what it's like to study for a higher education qualification at the Chichester College Group. I'd really just like to sum up to identify some of the main benefits of studying with us. Um, you've probably seen some of the logos on our slides. Um, we were awarded an Ofsted Outstanding Rating in um, March 2020. We also have TEF Silver, um, this means that we're seen to deliver outstanding teaching and learning and outcomes for students across our entire higher education offer. Um, 
with the National Student Survey, which is run by the Office for Students every year, the overall satisfaction rate that we get from our students is 86%. And this is about 5% above um, 5% above the national average. Um, and as we've already mentioned, we've got five colleges throughout West Sussex. We deliver higher education courses at four out of five of those colleges, um, which means that we can really tailor our provision to the needs of the local labour market and our local population within those specific areas. Um, so what I'd like to do now is hand over to Katie, um, who's going to um, tell us some of the questions that's been answered so that Leanne and myself and some of my colleagues, we have um, Claire and Dan from Crawley and Ch Jane here from Chichester who may be able to answer some of your questions. So I'll hand back over to Katie. Hiya, thank you for the presentation, Karen, Amy and Leanne. I'm Katie Smithers and I'm one of the higher education coaches within the Chichester College group. I'm gonna ask our panelists some of the questions that come in during the presentation. We've got a team behind the scenes answering in, in writing. So if you could just write those questions in the Q&A box and they will be typed up. So keep on asking during this time. So to start off, we've had a couple of questions about the duration of courses and how many days a week these courses um, can be um, and can students have work commitments and study at the same time. So uh, I'll put that to the panel and see what people say. OK, it's Karen here. Um, most of our courses are full time. Um, we do offer some part time courses. So if you just have a look at our website on the higher education site and um, you can request a prospectus. Um, if you're studying full time, um, you can expect to, to be in college two to three days a week. Um, some of the courses we do deliver for evening sessions. So for instance, um, the BA top up in business is some evening sessions. So we try to, um, it's beneficial for you because our courses are vocationally focused, it is beneficial for you to have employment. Um, so yes, you can have part time employment. When you join us um, at your induction, you will be given a timetable. Um, and you will then be able to see what days you would be in college and what days you were free. My only proviso really around that is um, obviously in a higher education course, you will be expected to do quite a significant amount of private study. So you will need to think about how you might be able to manage your time to fit your time at college, your commitment to the private study and getting your assessments in on time. Um, and obviously then your part time employment. Um, but obviously speak to your um, HE coach, speak to your course leader if you're having any issues um, and it, you know, we can try and resolve some of those issues for you. So, yes, definitely you can have part time employment, um, but obviously you need to think about the commitment to your HE study and making sure that you keep on top of your academic studies. Part of our graduate attributes program, we do talk about sort of how you can manage your time and your time management skills. So, again, that may be something that that might help you to, to sort of manage juggling all those balls. So I hope that's answered the question. Yeah, lovely. That's lovely. Um, a big talking point and a buzzword, I'm sure, as we've gone into lockdown number two, are several potential students are concerned about COVID-19 and the situation that that might be uh, bring to their studies in September 2021. Um, what will happen if the pandemic continues and how will it affect the start of their studies? OK, so sorry, it's Karen again. I'll answer that question. Um, as a group, uh, we are committed where possible to offer face to face um, uh, study. Obviously, if we are put into lockdown, um, we do have the facility because obviously when we went into lockdown in March, we had a lot of online delivery. Um, a lot of our courses are now offering a blended learning approach. Um, but not only that, we're putting a lot of material online so that you can access it from home. So if we do have to go into a lockdown um, and we do have to close the college, we will move to online learning. But as things stand at the moment, we're uh, well, we are following the government guidelines and the guidelines from Public Health England. So as things stand with the current lockdown, college is open. College is open to all of our students. And as I say, where possible, we are committed to delivering um, face to face um, where it's practicable to do so. Lovely. And 
sorry, I just wanted to just go on and just say you mentioned about how this will impact the start of your studies in September 2021. Obviously, none of us really know what's going to be happening in the future. It's been very, very strange times. Um, and obviously, we will continue to follow the government guidelines and where possible to offer that face to face teaching and learning. Lovely. Thank you, Katie. Um, no worries. A couple of questions um, concerning how students will know they are ready to study at this level. So um, what qualifications do they need to get on the course and are the entry requirements lower than what would be a typical university course? Could I answer this from a Crawley perspective, if that's OK? My name's Claire Steer. I'm the head of learning for the Early Years in Health and Social Care. Um, and I just wanted to um, reiterate because I've seen some questions coming up about um, what are the needs uh, requirements for the course. Um, certainly for the courses that we run, um, the requirements are actually the same as what is needed for a uh, university. Um, as Karen has explained already, uh, we work in partnership in collaboration with the university um, to be able to uh, support you in undertaking your degree qualifications. Um, and so therefore we work uh, very closely with them to make sure that the uh, qualification that you gain is the same as the qualification that you would gain if you went to university. Um, so yes, the requirements for coming on to the courses that uh, I do at Crawley are the same as the requirements that are needed to go to university um, to do a similar course, uh, which we do the foundation degree in early childhood and the BA honours in uh, early child care. So um, I just wanted to um, uh, answer that question for you um, and I'm sure Dan uh, and others can answer regarding their particular courses too. Thank you Claire. Any other panellists want to answer? I was just going to add to that that one of the, the points to pick out is the higher national certificate and diploma are vocationally um, anchored courses. So we run computing, engineering, creative media on my side. So my name's Dan, I'm the head of learning at Crawley in those provisions. Um, and very much what we do is project centred very much around what they would be then mirroring in their employment. So it's it's a very vocational based higher education, which can be quite different to what a university offers. So though the entry requirements uh, might be the same, actually the, the content of the course and the sort of direction of travel of that learning is slightly different. And it's geared much more towards that employability skills. Any, anyone else? Katie, can I add something as well? Absolutely. I think one of the key differences with us really as well is we do also look at um, every single student individually and some of our students come back to us maybe having not studied for several years. So you might not necessarily have the entry required, the kind of typical entry requirements, which generally are a level three qualification. Uh, but we can look at you individually and it could be you know, we can look at your work experience and your life experience so if maybe you didn't study a levels when you left school or you don't have a level three qualification or you haven't done an access course you know, do contact us and we may be able to help you yeah that's very true um yeah sorry katie can i just add on there as well that as a college we do offer access courses so if you feel that you're not quite ready to to move on to the higher education have a look at our website because it could just be that we have an access course available which you are able to um uh, apply for student finance for in an area that may help you then to get the qualifications to get you onto an he course so if you're sitting there thinking oh my goodness I haven't got a level three qualification. I don't think I can move on to higher education. We do have courses that will allow you to gain the qualification to in, to enable you to then to move on to the level three study. So the access courses are specifically for adult learners um, to progress into HE courses. And it they are sort of subject specific. So as I say, don't worry, we do have courses that will help you to progress on to HE if you don't feel quite ready at this stage. Thanks. Thank you. Um, as we've got um, Claire Steele and Dan Creed with us, um, asking about your courses in specific, um, what kind of equipment and facilities do we have on at, at the Crawley campus specifically? So, Dan, you go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that first. Obviously, we've got the brand new STEM building, which will come live in um, February of next year, which is going to offer us uh, upgraded electrical electronic labs, um, which is a huge investment being made by, um, by the college in that particular subject area. 
Um, we've also got a big um, mechanical workshop, sort of one of the biggest certainly in the area. Um, and a lot of engineering, there was a question that I've, I've sort of answered, but um, that person may, may want some more information about areas of engineering. So we do aeronautical, mechanical and electrical electronic. Um, and it's about making sure that we're offering a sort of state of the art equipment in terms of what we ask students to provide in engineering, it's really PPE that most students will provide their own, which is overalls and boots, but they're not expected to provide anything else for computing, which I'm also in charge of. Um, we don't ask students to provide anything. And in media, it's the same. So we will have state of the art cameras uh, and equipment for the students to borrow and use as part of their projects. Um, in media, a lot of the students like to buy their own memory cards, and that's just so that they can take their footage away with them. But we don't, it's not uh, an enforced thing, it's just what they prefer to have. Thank you. Uh, hi. Um, with regards to um, equipment um, for the um, early years uh, foundation degree in the BA Honours, it's not really um, a, a need to have equipment because actually the course is designed um, for students who are already working in the sector so you have to be working in early years uh, 12 hours a week anyway um, so we had a question earlier about whether there are child care placements actually you are working in the sector and you're coming to us um, for your studies and then the information and the, um, the work that we give you for you to research gets taken back into your placement into your workplace for you to undertake the work there so um, Regarding equipment, um, no, you're already working in the sector and you will have um, that sort of uh, um, understanding and knowledge um, from your work environment. Um, so that's really important uh, for you to be working in the sector already. Um, the interesting thing, though, is I know somebody also said about um, you know, their trips and everything. Uh, one of the things I think that it's really important for us to um, get over to all our potential students is that it isn't just sitting in a room being taught like it is um, in some uh, universities or in some lecture um, we do try and get our students out as much as possible and um, certainly on the courses we do we do beach school we go down to um, the forest um, we do a little bit of climbing um, so it's it's not just sitting in a classroom um, I know Dan is exactly the same with the course that he do we're very hands-on and we're very very try uh, in, it's try to get you out of the classroom um, and learning in a different way um, which is which is really good fun Thank you for that, Claire. Um, sorry, sorry, Katie, sorry, I just wanted to add something on there about Brinsbury. Yeah, um, sure. at, at Brinsbury, obviously, that's our land based college. We have a working farm. Uh, we also have an equine centre. And if you decided to do some of our horticulture courses, particularly our brand new foundation degree um, in sustainable food development, we are working really closely with local growers um, and they helped us to develop that course. And as part of that program, you will actually do a work placement. So as Claire quite rightly said, as a college, we are really committed that you're not sitting in a classroom. You won't be in a lecture theatre with 60 other students. Um, we do try and get you out and about and working with employers and um, applying what you're learning into the in the classroom to, to the workplace. So um, if we do actually have a chance um, hopefully at some point in the future and you are interested in any of our land-based courses I would urge you when you can if you can to go and visit our Brinsbury campus because as I say we've got uh, you know we've got exotic animals up there we've got a farm um, we've got llamas and um, you know you will get real hands-on experience. Lovely thank you Karen. Um, another question's just popped up and it's about a student who's very concerned because they haven't been in education for a while so what support will be available for that student? Shall I take this one, Katie? Um, I think uh, Karen mentioned earlier that because our courses tend, to, we tend to have small class sizes, lots of students who maybe have that concern kind of quickly overcome that because they realise they get lots and lots of dedicated one-to-one -one support. But in addition to your courses, we do offer a programme that runs alongside it called the Graduate Attribute Development Programme. And as part of that programme, we, we're helping prepare you for higher education and for that transition. So you do get lots of support with your academic studies and also you get, you get support and help with your professional development. 
Um, so just to kind of reassure you that support is available. Um, you also have a Katie as well. So I'm going to ask Katie actually, she doesn't mind, just explain maybe a little bit about your role and, and how that helps support students. Yeah, certainly. So um, as I introduced, I was a, I'm a higher education coach. So there's two of us across the four campuses. Um, and we kind of um, cover our pastoral, so supporting you emotionally and um, making sure that you're getting on okay, and developmentally, so looking at what can do after um, higher education. So we will meet with you um, three times scheduled in a year, and in those times we would discuss the progression options, how you're getting on, set yourself academic targets, work with you on study skills and um, professional development skills, and kind of work with you behind the scenes to ensure that you're getting the most out of your higher education course. Obviously you can just send us a message and contact us at any time, but we are here to help you um, not necessarily be the best student, but be the best person for the job at the end of your course. Um, and we will get you there and we will help you with referencing and all that stuff. So please don't have any concern. We obviously will also have Amy with us, who's part of the Progression Plus team. So I don't know whether you can discuss what additional stuff from Progression Plus can offer, Amy. Absolutely. So in the career service, we can provide advice and guidance on what you would like to do after your studies, whether that's whether you want to go into an apprenticeship or you want to go into a full-time work. Um, we provide CV reviews and can provide support through that entirety of that process. So it's just a case of picking in an appointment with us and we can tailor the support to suit your needs, really. Lovely. Um, I, I believe that's all we have time for as we are coming to the end of this session now. Um, I would like to thank all the um, panellists and everyone who's also answered questions today. I think that's um, been great. What should I pass over to Karen? Would you like to say a last goodbye? Hello, yes, thank you so much for um, taking time out of your Saturday and your busy lives to join us to find out a little bit more about the higher education offer at the Chichester College Group. Um, We've put in the chat that obviously if you've got any other questions, please email our HE Dropbox, which is he at chichester.ac.uk. Um, and obviously you can visit any of our um, websites, so Brinsbury, Chichester, Crawley or Worthing, if you just want to find out a little bit more about the HE offer at the individual campuses. And um, obviously, if you want to find out a little bit more, we do have a prospectus, so you can go onto our HE area on our website and download um, our prospectus if you want to be able to just find out a little bit more about it in your own time. So once again, thanks very much. Thank you to everybody that's contributed today. Um, and I'd like to wish you um, a very enjoyable rest of your weekend. Thank you.